This is Radio Labyrinth. This is Season 7, Episode 46. And look who is here. Hey. I meant Jeff. Oh, hey. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> oh, no. Jeff. I can't. Hey. Narcissist. <laughs> you should me here. It's me. <laughs> Jeff's always here. It's nice to see you, and I love your background. It's very Thanksgiving. Thank you. It's nice to see you guys, too. Yes. How are you? Um, you know, doing good. Busy. Like you guys. Trying what to you, what you've been doing? Where you yeah. been? We all want to know what's tell us. Spill I've the been do, I'm, it's nothing exciting. I've just been doing some online classes, trying to level up a little bit, uh, get my IT something going for myself. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm passing, you know, I'm passing these things. Uh, there's a lot of swearing that goes on here in the class or from you. For me, um, oh, some okay. tears. I've cried a couple times. Like, why doesn't my brain understand this? Um, you know, a lot of it's like the command line shit, learning how to <laughs> do PowerShell and Linux and, you know, learning crap like that. And then cheating as much as I possibly can. That's like, good. Any, any way that I can cheat, I cheat. I cheat so hard and I'm just trying to get it. <laughs> That's it, you know, and I'm sure that um, if I get a job doing this, I'll have no clue what I'm doing. So, I mean, you know, I guess it'll be like everybody else. All the IT people that come to our, our office, they all seem pretty stupid. So I figured I could do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, they'll train you on. The, they'll train you on site. It's okay. Don't worry about it. So many, so many Gen Zers and millennials are quitting their jobs. So there must be a huge market for us. We old. cannot get any. We have some open positions at my job right now that my boss, I don't think I've ever seen her look so defeated. Like she looked like somebody who was just ready to, for the grave today. Cannot fill these positions. Cannot. Like positions that pay decent money. I mean, for somebody who's 22, which is what we have been getting for these certain positions. And it is not happening. They are, they're not coming. Yeah, um, like when I'm asking her, so what about the felon? And she, I mean, that's that's where we're at. Yeah. Well, what, what, well, what are they doing instead of working? How do they make money? I guess they live at home. I'm thinking Only I mean, all, all the ones that we've hired that have stayed for a while or got quit or quit or got fired, they all live at home. Okay. Every yeah. single one of them. I mean, and some of them are 27, 28, all live at home. I couldn't imagine being my age and living with my parents. Everybody just be croaking. Oh, <laughs> oh my dad. Oh, my dad. I think the key is my parents, I don't know about you guys, but my parents made it very clear that it was not a place that you wanted to stay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I you, had you had a game plan. Like, as soon as I'm of legal age, I will get out of here. Do not worry. And I won't be yeah. back. I was 19 when I moved out. Yeah, I was 18. Yeah, and I was don't 17. You think, but it seems like everybody treats their kids so much better now, like too good. And they don't want to leave. Well, yeah, like our get... generation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, those latchkey kids just really want to have a, you know, a nuclear family. And so they, yeah, that they makes kind sense. of. They kind of push that. I, I I feel that way anyway, but with my own kids, <clears throat> and I got a feeling they're going to be here until they're in their, at least their mid twenties. But you know, I don't mind. I'm sure Gil will be real proud to have a 68 year old father when he's 18. <laughs> he's going to have to move out. He's just got to wait. Yeah, it's all yours. <laughs> it's all yours. All this garbage that I never threw away. You can have all these things I've had since high school. And your and your wife, she's it's not like she's like way younger than you, but she's you know, like eight what years. eight years. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you'll be dead, definitely dead before her. I'm sure. <laughs> probably probably within the next year. <laughs> Stop it. I eat a lot of bad food. Anyway, we're we're glad that you're back and hopefully you will continue uh doing well in your classes so you can come up, get a yeah. come up. I, w- I will definitely um, I'll try and get back on here more often. I I'm in a break right now because I'm you know the I've got my nephew coming into town from Detroit Saturday, not the stabby one, the good one. 
Oh, not the the one oh. that carved up the slide. No, the <laughs> other one. He the older one, who is um he's very chill, cool kids. He's coming to town. We're gonna go do a bunch of fun Atlanta crap for a few days. I'm gonna take him to ride that Georgia mountain coaster in Helen that I've been nice. dying to ride. Have you guys done that yet? No. Uh, mm. Well, it looks like so much fun. So we're gonna go do that, and then on Wednesday. He and I are going to drive to Alabama to my sister's um, White Lives Matter compound that she's bought in with her new husband. White Lives Matter? This <laughs> is a neighborhood with only just white an people. Alabama compound. It's just, she, it's, just a, it's just a house in the middle of nowhere that they built a wrought iron fence around. Mm-hmm. And I'm kidding. It's not a White Lives Matter. Okay. <laughs> not. It's probably it's just in the area where you would see one of those. I, so me and him are going there and my his mother, my other sister, is driving my mom and little Captain Stabby down from Detroit. And we're all converging in Alabama for a big old Griswold serial killer Christmas. Are you serious? Nice. Yeah. Are you serious, Clark? Yeah. And you know, Neil's not going. And my mom's like, I feel bad. Neil's not going. I'm like, don't feel bad for i'm sure neil doesn't want to go right oh it's neil's first thing well we have four dogs i mean we have four dogs it's not like you can board four dogs so i'll stay right here you can but you got to take a loan out to do it (laughs) well and you know i've got two senior dogs i'm not doing all that right so in the yeah neil want a cat no you still got that cat that cat's pretty it's beautiful did you check it for chips uh i I, I haven't had time to go to the uh, the vet, and I also don't have a cat carrier, so I gotta figure out what to do. You can just take him in a grocery in store and go to the self checkout aisle. Yeah. I'm sure it'll pick up. Boop. If not, Boop. just make sure you record it because that damn that'd be funny. Yeah. <laughs> you, is it sleeping out in the box? Yeah. Well, no. I think the neighbor. This house, then my neighbor's house is completely surrounded by overgrowth and trees. And there's a barn with like with the trees growing through it. And mm-hmm. cats have lived back there. I think that this is a cat that's one of the ferals that lives in the neighborhood. But it had a collar, right? Well, it's not a collar, it's a flea collar. Oh. So maybe somebody just thought that would be better than, you know, getting getting stuck on a stick and choking to death is better than getting some uh some of that shit you drop on the back. <laughs> it did not seem like a feral cat. No, it's super friendly. I don't know whose it is. It must have wandered, but it's it's not even a year old. I can I can guarantee it just based on its size. I bet you somebody dumped it. Yeah. Yeah, she's a cutie. You should keep her. Uh, I can't. You know, we have uh, two dogs and a child. And I well, think... I I have a cat carrier. Uh, you can use it, and you All can right. take it take it to fur kids. Somebody on Facebook said take it to fur kids and. That person volunteers there, so perhaps. Yeah, uh, take it to the. It's right over there off Shambly. Yeah, uh, he said coming. I'm like, I gotta do all this. I gotta drive. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Yeah, they're in. They got like that whole sanctuary now. It's a yeah. that they put on the where the old botanical gardens is. Yeah, somebody should drive down and get the cat. <laughs> should they? <laughs> I don't what, know. What did you see if the volunteer will do it? I, I was hoping that, yeah, that's that was a question. Hey, maybe, Bear, you could meet me at my house and, and take this cat. Yeah, that's, I mean, I feel and he bad. volunteers at Fur Kids, and they've got tons of cat carriers there. Now, if I lived alone and I weren't married and I didn't have a child, the cat would be in the house immediately um, because I just feel bad for it. But also, you know, we have to think about, you know, you don't want some cat with crap all over. You don't know. You, you have to take it to the vet first to make sure it doesn't have all those cat diseases. Yeah, the worms and the, the cat feline AIDS. AIDS here. Yeah. What's the other thing that that cats have that you can't be around pregnant, pregnant women? Vampirism. No. <laughs> oh. I forget what it's called. That's mostly from that's mostly just from their scat and urine though, from litter boxes. <laughs> For pregnant women. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, not that kind of scat. You're talking about where they um steal the baby's breath in the night. <laughs> yeah, that too. Yeah. yeah, and chase around little little trolls that hide in the baseboard. <laughs> <You know. laughs> hmm. Yeah, the one thing yeah. I do like about it when Sherman, my cat, died, 
within a year, I no started noticing things you'd never see when you have cats, like moths, any kind of crawling insect. The cat will get it and eat it and kill it. Or you'll find it under a couch, you know, dried up, dead, with half of its body gone. <laughs> <laughs> I love cats, um, but I can't allow myself to get attached to it because I will. And yeah, she's, a, she's a cutie. <clears throat> yeah, she's adorbs. Adorbs, cat. You're a softie. I kept texting uh, our friend Sean and Lisa, who have cats, going, "Hey, you guys need another one, don't you?" No reply. No, oh, Lisa, <laughs> she's just not. She just ghosted you. Well, I don't know. Sean is like, "Hey, how's that? How's your new cat? Your new cat? How's your new cat?" Mm -hmm. you know. But we'll see what happens. I bought cat f cat food and put water out, and you know there is a little bed. But I, to answer your question, I think it has a warm space. It goes to. It looks taken care of. Yeah. Maybe I wonder it, if it's it, not it, even playing you for a fool. Like I it's just that. one of those. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you're an extra meal, buddy. Yeah. yeah. Well, he knows I'm a softie. I didn't go get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the mistake I made. I saw him crawling across my driveway a couple nights ago. And he was looked scared and skittish. And he hid in the car. And I did that thing I always do when I see a cat. And then the meow started, and then it wouldn't leave me alone. So we call it CC car, uh, carport cat. Oh, that's cute. G G G G G G. Did Gilbert see it? I mean, I know you're yeah, not like Gilbert. How's, like... Gil, how's Gilbert reacting? He didn't know what it is, but he has seen it, and he touched its tail. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let him touch that filthy animal. Man, he is. He has gotten so cute. He doesn't even look like a real baby. He looks like a South Park character. He doesn't look real. <laughs> he looks like he's almost three years old, just based on his height. He is yeah. Tall. He's a big he's kid. Heavy as fuck. Who's uh who's got the big height in your family? Must be her. She got some talls. I mean, it's not like you're yeah. short, but I'm saying like there are tall McNanies, and my brother's six foot, and my dad is six foot, and my uncle's like six four. Oh, okay. She, you started st stunting your growth at, at like 13, 14 years old. Yeah, smoking Sterling's. <laughs> There's Sterling 100s in the black pack that cost 70 cents. Oh, my. Sterling's. I've never even... That's... What is that? Like Doral's or something? They were a discount brand before Doral. I mean, Doral were a normal brand of cigarettes, but eventually the people who owned the name just put a, started putting them out as discount brand, but Sterling's were one of the first discount brand cigarettes. Throughout were some of the nastiest tasting cigarettes I've ever. You're not shitting. They were. Yeah, the aftertaste was horrible. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. Wow. It's disgusting. like, might as well just put it out and chew the cigarette butt. Yeah. They're about the same taste. But they I remember cheap. being so broke and just scraping together coins and what could I get? A pack of Doral's and you're smoking and you're like, blah. Or GPCs. <laughs> remember GPCs? Oh, you ghetto know, people cigarettes. Package. Is that what they were called? Yeah, yeah were that's what we called them in Michigan. Oh, they were terrible. But I got the menthols, the GPC menthols, which I, I've heard that you'll be shot on site if you have menthols. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have that same aftertaste, but with menthol. But what are you watching? What are watching there? What are you watching? Okay, so what are we watching? <laughs> what are we watching? We watch. Yeah, I saw that cool documentary on Detroit last week. It was really good. I enjoyed it. Called Barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that was. It really showed the city for what it is. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. I was like, wow. Look, I can just imagine Steph just running down the street. I Listen. never wanted milk from a bottle so bad. Oh, God. I, that was the grossest I, part of it. I still, it's like, I can't even think about it. Oh, God. And when they would show the close up of that nipple. Yeah. <laughs> now, is that oh. a movie that, that'll have a sequel, do you think? Are there more? You think? No. no? I, I mean, from the guy, yes. I think he will create more movies, but I don't think that storyline merit so spoiler. i really like yeah, that movie. Spoiler alert. i did too i liked it a lot i love how they they made it look like uh they made it look like uh pennywise mm -hmm. guard was mm -hmm. going to be the creepy evil guy and it just turns out he was just some dude yeah, <laughs> yeah. it was that a cool was use of of um red herrings because they pushed you every bit of the way to say why is she doing this why are they doing this 
why don't they just turn around and leave? <laughs> and it was just constantly that pushing forward that just finally, you know, unraveled. And I liked it when Justin Long threw the Mac. And yeah. he tossed it, threw it over yeah. his shoulder. Yeah. 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 I thought it was hilarious, the whole measuring measuring of the whole place. He was like, God, I can add square footage from the basement. He was yeah. like, you dick. Yeah, you're done. <laughs> you are done, milk boy. It was just one of those movies where you just, it was over the top. And once you accept that it's over the top, and like you said, Tim, you know, if you were in that movie, you would have said uh, whatever that dude's name was, and then you didn't answer, and then you left. Yeah. <laughs> Later. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't pulling this rope. End of movie. You're... See ya. Same. That, I would have been the same. There's no way I would have went down there looking for that idiot. What was the other movie I watched? Did I talk about it last week? Because it, it's been so long. I mean, it's been a week. Were the crawdads sing? No. I didn't watch that. I watched um, Magnificent Seven, which I'd never seen in full. The, the reboot? new one? Or the new one? Or the old no, one? The original one with Yul mm-hmm. Brenner and uh, Eli Wallach. Playing a Mexican. Hey, we take all their corn. The new one's not half bad. I sure? love the I new liked one. It. Yeah, I watched I it two it. or three times. Wow, I never, I didn't know they even had one. Maybe I did and forgot. But you should check it out if you like the yeah. old one. Denzel, Chris Pratt. Oh, I'd watch that. I woke up yeah. one morning and and I saw that YouTube had Little Big Man on it for free, so I watched it and then I downloaded both audio books the original and the sequel, listen to those. And I said, you know what? He talks a lot about Tombstone in the second book and, and Wyatt Earp. So I watched Tombstone again, which I haven't seen in a long time. And aside from some sensationalism, it still holds up to me, but some parts of it are kind of cheesy. You know? Skin that smoke wagon. Yeah, that's that kind of t- stuff. Go ahead, skin it. Skin that smoke wagon and see what happens. Skin that smoke wagon. <laughs> And Val Kilmer makes that movie. He's the best. What yeah. about uh, Billy Bob? Chubby Billy Bob? Oh, Billy Bob Thornton. His face slapped. Yeah. You gonna do something or just stand there and bleed? Yeah. He's gonna stand there and bleed. I can't stand Dana Delaney in that movie, though. I don't like her either. She had her re- cheese chomping yeah. face. Yeah. Hey, why don't you cheat on your wife and come with me? Why don't you fuck me? I'm a whore. Mm-hmm. But what? yeah, I still like that movie. Johnny Ringo, you look like someone just walked over your grave. <laughs> and then, of course, you know, forever, the Powers Booth. Oh, yeah. Well. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> he, he takes all that opium and comes out and just starts shooting in the air. <laughs> right. He's shooting at the moon. Yeah. All those guys were real, too. Just not as sensational as, as uh, you know, the the movie portrays. Right. So I like Silverado. I love Silverado. The young Kevin Costner. Yep. You know, another good movie from back in that era, uh, Barbarossa with Gary Busey and Willie uh, Nelson. You ever see that? No. no. Oh, God, you got to watch it. It's, I'm going to look it up. My my parents had it, Barbarossa. They had it on, uh, you know, the floppy disk, that you, the big, heavy floppy disk video player machine. Oh, my. Barbarossa. Okay. 1982 Western film starring Willie Nelson, Gary Busey, about a young cowboy on the run from the law who partners with a famous gunfighter. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that and the man from Snowy River. Anyway, so I started getting all these, getting getting into all these things. And then I watched, uh, God, what was I watching? I just started watching, like I started watching the first season of Dallas. <laughs> oh, God. Which, which is on freebie. Dun, well, that's not dated dun, at all. Dun, 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 dun. Meanwhile, Tim's not watching any of Andor, which is the best fucking Star Wars thing of all nope. time. I'd rather watch the first season of Dallas. You're literally, <laughs> that's literally the most ignorant thing you've ever said. That <laughs> show is <laughs> so ignorant. good. It's the best sci-fi show I've seen in years. It's Better than any of the so other good. Star Wars things? Oh, well, Better first than off, any Star Wars thing ever. It's really? written by the dude who wrote House of Cards, who created House of Cards. Oh. The writing is fa fa fa. It's so good. It's yeah. so but isn't good. it more interesting to you that Ray was banging? Uh, no, banging the uh, <laughs> Charlie <laughs> Tilton. Miss Ellie. No, no, he wasn't banging Miss Ellie. <laughs> he was banging Lucy. And then a couple years later in the show, like, oh no, you're illegitimate. <laughs> you're her uncle, and they never talk about it. <laughs> Charlene Tilton. Yeah, Charlene Tilton. 
But she, they were in the first couple episodes. Ray's banging her. Ray is the guy that runs the ranch. And then a couple of years later, oh, yeah, he's one of my illegitimate kids. Oh, yeah, I do remember those. I remember being a kid and thinking, God, she's stunning. I she doesn't even look real. Oh yeah, I was big into Charlene Tilton. Even I, though I never watched to Dallas. Be Charlene Tilton. Oh my god. Yeah, she was. She was the bee's knees, and uh, you know Sue Ellen. Yeah, no wonder he cheated on her. Ugh. And then uh, Ginger from Gilligan's Island is Jr.'s receptionist. Yeah. Yep. And uh, who else is? In, oh yeah, Patrick Duffy. You gotta love him. Yeah. Man from Atlantis. Yes, that's right. He he left the man from Atlantis because it got canceled, and then he got Dallas. Anyway, all right. I guess I'll watch Andor. Watch Andor for the love of Dude, God. I'm telling you, you'll be hooked. It's Andy so Serkis freaking is in good. It. You you love him. Yes. I heard, <laughs> I heard that they tapped. Um, I heard that they tapped George Lucas to do the sequel to Rogue One. So I want to see how that turns out. No, I don't want him to do that. That's a joke. Oh, I was going to say he I'll, already did I'll, it. I'll, the sequel to Rogue One is <laughs> shut up. Okay, is shut up. All right, fine. A New Hope. <laughs> <laughs> I read that online. That's not my joke, but I think it's a funny. Stop. I'm but, stupid, but yeah, uh, we're behind on a lot of stuff. Um, just because you know it's it's not easy to sit and watch TV all night. Although Caitlin went through uh, season five of The Crown in like a day and a half. <laughs> that I show into that show. Great. Are you I caught up on crazy. White Lotus? No, we're gonna get caught up though. God, yeah, 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 I'm one up. behind. Yeah, that's such a good season. Yeah, so far I'm I'm into it. I'm into we were speculating it. which which one do you think is going to die at the end? Who who's the body? Do you think? Probably one of the hookers. Yeah, it's, or think, Michael uh, Imperioli. F. F Murray Abraham. Oh, yeah. you don't think it's Imperioli? It could be. Do you think so? What do you think, Imperioli? He's like a Weinstein. Is that what happened? Maybe. No, he's just a, he's just like a Duchovny. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Speaking of. Uh, F. Mary Abraham, I, I watched the, I'm doing the Cabinet of Curiosity slowly. Hmm. And the one that oh, he yeah. was. So His was one of the best ones. Oh, yep. my God. No rats yeah. dragging you into a hole. That was, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah. His, he, the, the way he tricked uh, the alien was amazing. It was good. Coming up soon, we will all be gorging ourselves on um, on uh, turkey and whatnot. Steph, you don't eat turkey, so what do you have instead? I mean, no usually turkey. pizza. On Thanksgiving, you'll have pizza? I mean, probably, yeah. I mean, yeah. but I mean, they're making a big spread. My sister's making this huge dinner, but her father-in-law is living with them now in Alabama, and he's a vegan, like oh. 100%. So he's making some vegan stuff. Okay. So I'll probably eat some of that crap. I mean, I'm. I like desserts. Have, what if they're made with eggs? No, I'm not. A, I am not a vegan. Oh, okay. I'm a vegetarian. All right. Yeah, gonna, I'll be having I'm my usual cheese. bologna sandwich. I'm making macaroni and cheese. <laughs> no garbage plate this year, Jeff. Yeah, I, I should make a garbage plate. I haven't made one in a couple of years. Why are you gonna have a bologna sandwich? McDonald's is open. <laughs> they just reopened the McDonald's by me. It's it's the newest McDonald's in in Atlanta. Oh, it's all fancy and shit now. Their ice cream oh, yeah. machine works. Ah, uh. oh, at, le <laughs> at least for at first, yeah. for another forty-eight yeah. hours. Yes. <laughs> <All right. laughs> well, uh, I love Thanksgiving. It's it's uh, it's a day for football. I think there's four games on this year, maybe just three. There has been three for a long time. You have your traditional games, and then you have your Thursday night games. And then once it's uh, once Thanksgiving's done, uh, it kicks off the holiday season. So I thought it'd be fun to talk about some of the gifts we got for Christmas. Just keep it cash. Um, and also, we aren't going to be doing a full episode Thanksgiving week, but we have an interview with Mark Schrankel, who is the the father on I Am Shauna Ray, which is a reality show on TLC in season two right now. Steph, do you watch that show? Are you aware of it? I have just been made aware of it, and it sounds like a really good show. Yeah, and it turns out I'm related to him. Crazy. Yeah, and uh, it's pretty neat, and uh, we hope you guys will like that interview. But uh, I'll I'll get started. Do you have a couple of toys that you were happy to get when you were a kid? Like, these are the ones that you were like, I will always remember opening them and playing with them until they quit working. Because when we were kids, you got the Sears catalog, and that was just toys. There was a... There was a the, the Christmas catalog. Yeah, just for toys. Then you had the JCPenney. 
And then sometimes, you know, you got the Montgomery Ward. And that was about it, right? Those are the three big ones you got. Well, of course, if you lived where we lived, there was a store called Izzard's, and they had a catalog, too. Uh, that was an independent chain in our area. But you got that, and you went through, and you go, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this. And then you just presented the book to your family and said, here, give this to Santa, asshole. <laughs> right. <laughs> And uh, that was it. That's how you did Christmas. Now everything's Amazon, of course. But, you know, and just things, it was for me, it was, okay, November 4th, Halloween, really. Halloween, go trick-or-treating. In four or five days, it'll be my birthday. And then, oh, God, I got to wait three weeks now for Thanksgiving. Uh, and then you had Thanksgiving, and you had a couple days off. And I always got two meals, one with my mom's family, one with my dad's family. And then, oh, a week later. We get Monday off because it's Buck Day. Buck Day? What's Buck Day? That's the first day of uh, deer season. Deer season? Yeah, yeah for, and you can only kill buck. I think you get a week to kill the buck. And then a couple of weeks go by, oh, oh, shit, doe day. You get that off, too. So December was a sweet month for not having to go to school. And before you knew it, it was Christmas week. It was my mom's birthday on the 23rd, and then Christmas when I got uh, two Christmases, one with my mom and her family, one with my dad and his family. So it was awesome. So they don't talk about the benefits of having a you know one of those divorced families, but anyhow, um, so but is this time of year you know I really started getting hopeful for gifts. Now I don't care. I want to I want to buy every I want to spend everything that I have to make Gil happy, and he's not quite at that age where he understands it. I think next year will be the big year, right? Three, maybe four. Yeah, he'll be able to. Yeah, you'd know. He, so you he can just get him underwear and socks this year. No, no, that's what I do. <laughs> um, right now, he's just obsessed with cars. Car, 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 car. I pick him up and put him in the car in the morning. Car, car, car. <laughs> <laughs> Loves it. Wait. He's probably uh, saying, clean your car. Clean your car. <laughs> clean your car, dude. Why are all these cigarette butts in my car seat? <laughs> <laughs> Why are cigarette butts in his car seat? So anyway, Jeff, why don't you get started? Some of your favorite Christmas gifts from when you were a kid. Yeah, I just picked ones that I know we went through multiples of. Knip Knop. What's remember that game? Knop? What is it? It was, it was like this little plastic box, and it had these holes in in the center. Uh huh. And there were two pads on either on on each side, and they just shot air, and you pushed like a little ping pong ball back and forth, and you tried to get all your balls into the other person's side, and they okay. were trying to get all their balls into your side. And into your what? Into your the side of your, oh. your side of the of the court. It's it's a ping pong spelled backwards. Oh, okay. Gnip gnip. Yeah. Mean, it's by fun deck. But we would just bust the hell out of them and and have to buy a new one like every every couple of months because mm -hmm. you just slam the pad so hard that they would stop shooting air or they would break. I like <laughs> the name of it. Yeah. Gnip gnip. Yeah. It's ping pong spelled backwards. Uh, rock and sock of robots. Yeah, that was a we knocked the heads off them so many times that the heads would just go flying off, and they they would be just headless robots. And you can still fight with them, but right, it's no fun if the head doesn't shoot up. <laughs> that was a fun game, and you had to manipulate them and, and slide them yeah. around here and there. Yeah, I remember when we, we went through a bunch of those and creepy crawlers. Now, what are those? That was the thing where you could use a little things of like tubes of plastic shit and make your own bugs and stuff oh yeah i had that and you didn't have to replace the whole base thing but you had to buy new stuff to make insects all the time was that the one that you had to like kind of cure them in a thing yeah you had okay. to like eat them under like an easy bake oven kind of thing all right okay yeah i had those i had shrinky digs those were fun yeah shrinky mm. digs were fun too <laughs> Yeah, it always made the house smell nice. Yeah. yeah. First thing, Tonka trucks. You guys get a little too old, but it was the ones that you would, ones. Yeah, that had the uh, double A bat, one double A battery, and you would put it in it. You could turn it on, and it would just go. Is that the and, one you uh, pulled it back, and it went on. No, you just literally had to turn it on. It was like a it was like a remote control little truck with no remote control. It would just go over. You could, and what we would do is we would set up like obstacle courses in flower beds and around trees and you would just turn them on and they would just you know just they roll were, over they're like things. supposed to be indestructible too right 
Yeah, you and you could interchange the tops. So it had like a chassis base and you could you could interchange it with different truck tops, but you know, you'd you'd go through those. <clears throat> you'd have like two at Christmas and then by February, by Valentine's Day, you were asking mom for another one because, you know, you stepped on it or <laughs> ran it to death or something. <laughs> the other thing that we used to get every year was a racetrack. And it was the racetrack that would have the little cars with the magnetic uh, yeah. thing on yeah. there and you'd have the controller that you would you know trigger right. for the to make it go and we would always set up this ridiculous you know to the extent of gravity you know you would try to make it do everything until the one year we got the wall crawler edition yeah. that had the bit of track that went up the wall yeah. but um, me and my dad used to you know every christmas morning it was put it together and then all day long time trials Right. And it was fun. It was a whole day of it. Yeah. And Spirograph, that was one of those things that it wasn't interesting to me in the box. But once I started playing with it, I would do that for hours. I would just sit at the yeah, kitchen table. I, was, I, I had OCD with Spirograph. Like I would screw up even a little bit. I would have to stop and start over. Oh, if you like jumped the tooth yeah, or, or something. Yeah, yeah. Like if you, if you, if you skipped one little thing or your pen slipped out yeah. or whatever, it would fuck it up. And if the drawing wasn't perfect, I would be pissed and, and have to start a whole new one. <laughs> I had Spirograph OCD. Wow. I never had that. I never had Spirograph. <clears throat> never fun. Uh, I remember um, a bunch of stuff. And now that you guys are talking, I'm starting to remember like certain things like getting uh, these these dolls. Like I didn't even know what he was called. He, he wasn't. I had the six million dollar man guy. And then I had some other guy who, like, he could take his arm off and put a hook on it, and he'd go down a string. But the the big ones for me, Millennium uh, Falcon, when I got that for Christmas, it was that was like this shit. And I didn't wait. Uh, my grandma offered to help me put the stickers on right, and I just put them on wherever I felt like it. <laughs> <laughs> but I had so much fun with the Millennium Falcon. And then uh, earlier than that, you know, I got all the figures. But I remember the Christmas morning, I got a big wheel. And to see those, uh, you know, it had a bow on it and everything. And I was just like, yes. And I was outside. <laughs> I didn't even care about the other present. <laughs> the big wheel, I got a couple of years of fun out of that. I loved it. And uh, it was kind of cool. It was an actual one. It wasn't like they went to Kmart and got the knockoff. It was an actual big wheel. Um, and then uh, one year I wanted the Crayola Caddy. And that I loved. Just, you know, getting spilling paint all over the floor and, and using the Crayola markers. But the Crayola Caddy had everything. You know, you had the crayons, the markers, the colored pencils, the paint, watercolors. It was great. And it was it was an awful lot of fun. So those are my big three. Steph, do you have any? Um, Not like in the context you guys are talking about. You know, everything for me was always disposable. It was like I was going to play with it like a few times and then I was done with it. But probably big gifts, the black and white TV I got when I was probably eight was a huge deal to me i got one too but it was used but i didn't care i got a tv loved it loved it and it was you know i think it was like a 12 11 or 12 inch tv it was so little and in fact it ended up doubling as a computer monitor for me when they bought me the atari 800 computer for yeah. christmas nice. <laughs> so nice. it's my computer monitor and um but i do remember one christmas i was so excited my mom got me this velour jogging suit that I wanted so badly. <laughs> velour? And, uh-huh. Mm-hmm, okay. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yes. And um, so she gave me uh, a bottle of sparkling. Somebody gave us a bottle of sparkling grape juice. And I thought I was going to be the height of adult. That I was going to pop the cork on this sparkling grape juice, which she told me not to. She mm-hmm. told me to let my stepdad do it. And I did it. And it blew up all over the kitchen, all over my new velour jogging suit. Ruined. Completely oh, ruined. It was like I put it on and it was ruined. Flash forward later that night, one of my other Christmas gifts was this comforter for my canopy bed that I was obsessed with. And it had like <laughs> it was white and had clouds and rainbows all over it. And I was so jacked about it. And I had gotten this pen. Do you remember those pens? Where they write and they're like, they have like a metallic outline to them. Yeah. Yes. So it wouldn't write. Oh. So I shook it 
and it fucking went all over the computer. Oh god. Ruined it. Ruined uh, it. Uh, computer ruined. Those track suit ruined. Awesome. They smelled good too. What the, nah, nah. And I just looked and there's just red and silver dots all over this comforter. Oh, no. That sucks. But that's, you know, my life. That's just how it goes. You know? It's neither here nor It's fleeting. I, en- I enjoy it for a second. Now show then... everybody the cigar shaped scar that your dad gave you. For- <laughs> Smoke up, Johnny. Do I stutter? <laughs> yeah, my mom, she just was. I would say the Atari, though, but I got a lot of knockoff Christmas gifts, too, which were stupid. Like, instead of a Barbie doll, when I got a Darcy doll, Darcy. some big Amazonian mongoloid Barbie doll. <laughs> <laughs> so I... stupid. And then I, I, I didn't get a Cabbage Patch doll. I got some crap that some old lady at the still mill sewed together with, like... <laughs> My grandmother made those and sold them. Like, yes. the, Knock off. The, yeah. They're not a doll. Cabbage they're they're abandoned. I think it had, like, coal yeah. dust for filling or something in it. <laughs> yeah. Graphite sewn into it. It was, just, like, it was called, like, the Cancer Patch doll or whatever. <laughs> the Nicotine we, Patch doll. We I found know. these down in a hole. <laughs> they, they're grown down in a hole <laughs> oh, that's but, I mean I always remember being excited about Christmas and then it was just bleh. yeah you know <laughs> that's sad <laughs> <laughs> but uh, as yeah, but I can't remember too many other ones I, you, the kid down the street the little fat kid down the street that got everything he would have the best Christmases was I would rich? like to go down to his house the day after Christmas and just go ape shit in his toy pit because he got anything and everything. You know, all the He-Mans, all the wrestling figures, all the G.I. Joes, all that stuff, which I wouldn't ask for, but they were fun to play with. Did you get He-She-Man too? (laughs) (laughs) I remember one year we had um, my friend who she didn't have hardly anything and she stayed all night with us on christmas eve that's how poor she was right like her mom let her stay with us and my mom made me give her some of my gifts and i was so mad oh, <laughs> I was so mad it sucks <laughs> oh i hope you gave her like the crap i didn't hang on one second i don't know if it was a knockoff or it was part of the line but we had that stretch armstrong but it was an octopus yeah, that was part of the line. Was it part of the official stretch arm sound line? Yeah, because I remember that. we pulled it so hard that the goose came out. Oh, no. <laughs> he yeah, like you split one? Yeah. Uh, I cut my stretch arm strong open and ate some of it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was like taffy. It was disgusting, whatever it was. I'm surprised it didn't kill us. Well, All don't right. kill me. I have to go pick up my dog. I'm sorry, guys. That's I thought right. he I thought he'd be ready closer to nine o'clock, but I've got to go get him from the groomers. Oh, thanks for joining us. Right. Yeah. Hope no, you it, was good fun. Holidays. it was fun. Happy Thanksgiving. And thank you guys. And um I'll I'll be back again like uh in December sometime if you guys have yes. me on, I'll come on Absolutely. in December. Uh and but me in the meanwhile, if you guys can go to uh Barkville uh something charity raffles, I'll put that up. You can win a trip to the Caribbean, all expenses paid, or uh, I think a thousand bucks. And one of our radios won last year. Was it last year? Eric Melmstrom won. Yeah, yeah. He won yeah. the big prize too. So <laughs> radios have good luck with Barkville's raffles. So I'm just radios sign up. Absolutely, yeah. So anyway, I love you guys, and um, I'll we'll talk to you guys soon. I'll maybe I'll FaceTime you from. <laughs> The compound. <laughs> the compound. Yeah, compound. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right. Anyway, all right. I'll talk to you guys later. Take hey, care. All right. Bye. 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 Happy Thanksgiving, bye. everybody. Atlanta Pizza and Euro. They are our longtime sponsor, and we have to say thank you to Mike Hall and everyone at the restaurant. Stop by and grab an ice cold local craft beer like Wicked Weeds Pernicious IPA in cans. And Tantrum Brewing's Poems at Midnight Sour Berliner Weisse on tap. If you're a business or a corporate client who's looking to book a food truck for your next private event or catered luncheon, please contact Mike Hall at Atlanta Pizza in Euro by calling 770-483-6228. And they are open for dine-in and takeout Monday through Friday from 11 to 9, Saturday from noon to 9, closed on Sundays. 
Do you have a commercial or residential construction printing need? Well, what are you waiting for? Contact LDI Repro Printing of Athens in Athens, Georgia since 2005 with fast turnaround and affordable prices. Call 706-316-9366 or email Brett Perkins at Athens at LDILine.com. Dot com. Who died? Who died? Who died? What's wrong? Who died? What happened? Who died? We uh, we I don't know. We lost a bunch of people in the last less since the last time we did the show. We'll go through them real quick so we can get to views or snooze. Gallagher, comedian Gallagher, seventy six years old. Jeff, you and I saw him a couple of times, didn't we? At the punchline. Yeah, we uh we sat we were smashing up. shit on the stool on, on the stage. Yeah, we were far enough away though where it didn't affect us. I think maybe we even would have been in the balcony, maybe. Yeah. But we saw the so, real Gallagher, not his brother. Yeah, his now brother. his brother can do do his act without without having a legal repercussions. Right. Yeah, I was wondering if that's if he's gonna continue doing the act or not. I don't know. He'd have to be in good health, but Gallagher was a decent guy. I liked him. He was, he was great. I mean, going back when we were a little kid that, well, teenagers or whatever is when he really broke through. And of course he was funny when you're a kid guys smashing fruit is funny. Um, but yeah, rest in peace. Kevin Conroy, 66 years old. He was best known, I suppose, as being the voice of Batman in the animated. The quintessential series. voice of Batman. Absolutely. Yep. And all the video Ooh, games. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, that sucks. Only 66. Mm-hmm. Uh, 89 years old is the age of Jennifer Aniston's father, John Aniston, a uh, popular soap opera actor. What was it, Days of Our Lives? Yeah. Yeah. yeah for years and years and years and years. And he lived a very long and healthy life. And uh, you guys might not know who this is, but there was a radio host that I used to listen to at night named Jim Bohannon. He had been involved in radio for uh, years and years. He was a TV newsman. He had a great voice. Jim Bohannon. He replaced Larry King on the Mutual Broadcasting Network when Larry King retired. For a while, it was Tom Snyder, but Snyder got picked up to take over the, uh, the Late Show Late Show on uh, on CBS after. He was the Late Late Show host. Yeah. After Letterman. And uh, Bohannon was just one of those talk show hosts who could talk to anybody. And I shared it on a couple of different platforms, but there's a great interview from 97. He was a big Weird Al fan. And so he does a a real long interview with Weird Al. He just knew a little bit about this and that. And also remember my dad, you could hear him. It It was weekends when originally you could hear him on Saturday night. So we'd be coming back from something and my dad would have that on. So that's where I first heard him as a kid. Jim Bohannon, 78 years old. Views, views. Or, 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 or. And snooze. Views. This week, A Christmas Story Christmas on HBO Max. That's a views. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely a views. For views. Me. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that Christmas story. Number two, the final season of Dead to Me. Christina Applegate, Linda Fiorellini. You know, I'll be watching that with Caitlin. I mean, she'll watch it, and I'll pick it up here and there. This is the final season, and I Christina like the Applegate is kind of in, in ill health. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm she watching. said she had to force herself to to make this final season. Yeah. It was it was rough, and with diagnosed with MS, I can imagine it's yeah, it's, it wasn't easy. So that's abuse for me. And then uh, the Sex Lives of College Girls season two starts on HBO Max this week. <laughs> That's a snooze. It's a it's a views for me. Season yeah, one can... was great. Uh huh. I'll I'll take your review from it. That's a snooze <laughs> for me. Yeah. No, it's uh, a very funny show, and and uh, Timothy Chalamet's sister is is a good, a good character and good actor. Uh, that's going to be a snooze for me only because I don't have all the time in the world to watch TV, but I do have time to watch the first season of Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm I'm gonna, 22 uh, hours of Dallas. I watch Andor 22 hours of Dallas times, uh, 12. God, yeah. <laughs> you could almost drive to Dallas for that. Yeah. You, well, I'm, you could. Mm-hmm. and back and still have only watched one season <laughs> all right everybody have a great thanksgiving and again don't forget our interview next week with jeff mark Trankel, and yes. at tuesday 10 o'clock on tlc yeah it is a fun show it's a family show i mean if you like 
you know, funny family sitcoms and stuff like that. These are real people and it's a fun show. So, so check it out. All right, guys, have a good Thanksgiving. We'll talk to you again in a couple of weeks. Until that time, please remember to keep, keep it, 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 it,